Okay, I'm freaking out. This is the very first time I've ever seen, I think they're called mongoose in person, or mongoose to be more exact. They're so cute. I actually need to send a photo of this to someone that I was talking to on the phone um, to earlier today. So just to let you know, since I actually had to get out of the house and I'm actually in the pet store, they actually have a, a, a bunch of cute animals. I've never seen a mongoose in person. Because the thing is, I watch, I'm gonna say this, a lot of Pokemon, right? And I think about the first Pokemon in my head is Zigzagoon. But the thing is that this is, um, this is a regular mongoose. They're so cute because they actually have like a little, um, and those are bunnies. I love bunnies. So cute. Oh, I'm actually going to take, take a picture break quick. There we go. Oh my gosh. I like how they have to sign because people like to pick up the animals. At least kids do. So over here, there are lot bunnies and Neverland dwarves. Amazing, there's actually two different types of breeds, and they're really fat, honestly. And over here, oh, I was wrong. It's not a mongoose, it's a ferret. So I'm thinking about um, that Pokemon. I forgot the name of it. It's a ferret, right? Kind of like them, but it actually has stripes on it. This is what a ferret is, not a mongoose, even though they're kind of similar, I think. They're so cute. Oh, this is irritating me, because the thing is, um, if... I forgot to actually upload more videos of my puppies when I actually was puppy sitting um, last week because I still have videos of them. They're so adorable. The thing is that uh, we only have four pops, right? And the thing is, I'm only good at taking care of puppies, but not like ferrets or bunnies. Because I know um, someone um, in my neighborhood that actually had like, I think it was a rabbit. And they eat a lot. They can eat almost anything, even though they technically eat a lot of... Actually, I'm not, I'm not sure what food they eat, but they do eat carrots obviously and what's so cute is this one is actually sleeping on the bowl that's so adorable i'm gonna take a picture of that it's so cute so i love love animals I always want to be um a veterinarian but it's really hard to actually take care of animals because it takes a lot of responsibility and they still want to say hi hi <laughs> it's so cute darn it and for ferrets, they actually live up to seven to nine years. It's not bad. And they're up to a foot and a half to two feet. So yeah, they're pretty small. At least on average. They're fully grown and their diet is commercial ferret diet and raw and cooked meat and selfish and gestation. I'm thinking that's after you adopt them. It's supposed to be for a little over a month, I think. So it says here, no refund or return on fares, blah, blah, blah. And that makes sense because of COVID. And also there's a black and white bunny over here. So cute. <sighs> so I just had to share this because the thing is, um, when I came here last time, they actually, I think they only had like parrots and baby chicks, which I'll be showing in a minute, but they didn't have the ferrets and the bunnies or rabbits, so to speak. I get bunnies and rabbits mixed up together. So if I actually can go over here and I do have my face mask and my backpack because you don't have to worry about wearing them. These are basically baby chicks. I'm sure for any of you that grew up in a farm have um, taken care of them before. I talked to a a boy um, from the Czech Republic, he actually has a farm himself at least a long time ago. It was on Snapchat. I don't know why I didn't talk to him anymore. But the thing is, he told me that he actually takes care of like 12, I think he like chickens. They're like really big chickens. And his family is actually farmers. So that, that kind of explains it because he's from Europe. But these are supposed to be rooster chickens, which means they grew up to be roosters. So there's a difference between... Oh, okay. These are cornish. These are Cornish um, chickens, and these are this roosters. Okay, so there's a difference. Roosters and chickens. I get to mix that because chickens are the ones that are like, like, the, like those little peeps that you would eat on Easter. And then the roosters, they're like a different type of breed. They're really cute, though. Honestly, I hate saying this because besides being kind of like a Buddhist and... I don't like to eat a lot of meat. It makes me feel bad just to eat chicken because I don't want to eat chicken because of, of um, you know, these adorable baby chicks. It's so cute. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a picture. So yeah, um, basically, like I said once again, the roosters are pussy for um, two and nine or the um, dry yellows and you know the um, horned. No, not not nine. Um, I forgot to say chicken in German. For the chicken, it's supposed to be zwei um. Um, Otsig, so for like 280, give or take. I just like, I just feel like I'm um, speaking German. That's because I'm comfortable. And now they're chirping. 
It's so cute. I'm gonna take another picture before I go, and then oh, there's more back here. So there supposed to be other types of chickens as well, besides the baby ones. These are supposed to be silver laced um pullets. Never seen it before. I I don't know much about chickens, by the way, because I didn't grow up in a farm. But my mom, she had a her grandmother that um had a farm in Missouri, so I need to talk to my mom about that. But yeah, these are just different breeds of chickens, and these are supposed to be for um. Four yellows, one for the um, guild and stone and pullets. They're supposed to be for um, six um, yellows for like six dollars. You can't really see them because of the reflection off my phone. So cute though, darn it. I love animals. Um, I just, ugh. if I could adopt one of them, like, like one of each animal, I would, but it takes a lot of work just to do that. So, I don't know, I'm actually going to be leaving, and I am definitely cannot wait until I get my puppies tomorrow. Because my mom, she supposed to, I think can go with my grandmother somewhere. Because my grandmother, she actually, she may have Alzheimer's, which is not good. I almost cried when my mom told me about that, because my grandmother's getting out there in age. But I'm thinking we might think she may have short-term memory loss. So, let me actually just share this very quick. This is a really um, awesome um, shop. The thing is... Customer appreciation days. That's for the fifth and the sixth. 85 years in business. Are you serious? So the thing is, this pet store, this they've been around for almost um, a century. And I just had to say, they take they take a they they do an awesome job taking care of the animals. So I'm actually gonna take a picture of this place. Um, if I can do that. Oh, I need to I need to run. <laughs> and I stick up plus stick with me. So yeah, just to let you know, I'm going to make this video like a little bit separate and then I'll get back to the One Piece reactions on the next video hopefully and I hope you enjoy that because the thing is for me personally, um, I have a huge affection for animals and the reason why I'm saying this is because I grew up with pups, well dogs so to speak, because I I need to trace my profile picture. I have a Siberian Husky before he died because of abdomen cancer. I had a meltdown when he passed away. I would yell like literally, I would be like... Luffy going his uh, thinking I got spoiled myself his second gear form just to you know be out of rage after he died and then our chihuahua got killed by a pit bull and we had to put our pit bull down which is even more traumatizing for me and then we lost our Bashan because of my nephews and nieces that accidentally opened the door and, it, and she ran off because she couldn't be around people and then we actually lost our German Shepherd Babs because she decided to commit suicide because she ran away because she knows she's gonna die because she had a tour so it's awful like we want to do so much trauma with our dogs it's it's not even funny and I just want to say this for people that have never owned a dog you won't understand how it's like taking care of a dog right which is an animal literally also if you're attracted to animals not cartoons that's different if you're attracted to real life animals then you're not a human being you're not because that's just sick. It is. Don't tell me it's normal. No, it isn't. Because they're an animal. We're a human. There's the two different species, honestly. But like, yeah, you just need your best actually hang in there and just expressing yourself. And I am. So I just like to just um, talk about myself because I want to look back on these videos because I just let you know that I've been going through a lot, at least of this, because um, it's getting dark, of this um, period. And my time right now is 5.10 in the evening, and it's, man, it's already getting dark. By the time I get home, maybe it was pitch black. But I just wanted to just get out of the house, and I got my groceries and my backpack, because I just had to get some fresh air. So it's really, really nice out, and it's sunny. So yeah, that, that's what I like about living here, because we get a lot of sunny days. So we don't have to worry about rainy days. Plus, the water is nice and warm, not humid. So that's what I like about living here. Even though there might be some crime, but it's not high. At least for me, I don't have to worry about putting up with it. It depends where you live. Whether or not, I always feel safe. At least 93% of the time when I'm actually out here. So, I don't know. I'm actually just heading back to the house. And I just wanted to share that because I may not come back here for a little while. Just because I want to stay inside and rest. And also, um, they close at 6. So, um... I forgot what days the pussy open. I didn't pay attention to the sign, but um, that's the case if I don't see those adorable rabbits if someone wants to adopt them, or even one of the ferrets, I actually just had to make a video of them. So other than that, if you basically are a Pokemon fan of ferret, I definitely recommend buying a ferret. They're so cute. I thought it was a, um, a mongoose. I, I get it mixed up, because mongoose looks kind of similar to a ferret. I don't know, because I never own one. 
But besides that, um, yeah, I think that's about it. And other, other than that, if you're basically new to my channel, forgot to say this, by the way. My name is Dion. I like dogs. That's why I actually have my username of that, including the dog emoji, because they're my favorite animal. Literally, like, more than any other animal on Earth, honestly. Otherwise, I wouldn't be using that username in the first place. Um, welcome, I suppose. And I could just wait until I actually cross, because I'm not in a hurry. So, traffic is not that bad, but, eh, it's whatever. So, other than that, I'm going to get back home to upload, um... Because I want to I wanna do this in order, more of the One Piece reactions and basically making up to the, um, the Ennis, eh, I can't talk, honestly, Ennis Lobby arc. <laughs> I apologize. But other than that, I'm done stuff for Deku here because, um, believe it or not, uh, how can I say this? I lost my old, my, I lost my old plushie, um, my Deku plush, um, on the bus. Um, I think it was like a few weeks ago, but I just had to say that he you know went for a long holiday and he came back so yeah we had to get him on, on ebay that's why he also he still has the little tag you can't really see it but i don't know i'm actually gonna cut this off because i'm rambling but i want to just ask one question if you're really curious before i actually cut this off by the way um and there's the bus so you don't need trouble taking the bus because i'm not going down that direction what is your favorite animal and why and i see a car for a license plate and i see the glenda police car nice and then I'll be heading back home.